How's it going guys, Chris here, and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 556 Icarus in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. One of the game's faster firing LMGs unlocked at rank 18 on the M4 platform. The 556 Icarus in Modern Warfare 2 is heavily inspired by the Fight Light MCR, or Mission Configurable Rifle, a squad automatic weapon based on the older Ares 16. Its flexible design allows it to be configured to suit a wide array of combat scenarios, transformed from an infantry rifle to a carbine type gun to a light machine gun, featuring quick change barrels, rail interface system for mounting various optics and accessories, along with a dual feed system, making it compatible with both belts and assault rifle magazines. The MCR is derived from the M16 platform, so it can be found as a complete package or as a separate upper receiver performance upgrade which can be retrofitted to exist in M16 type carbines and rifles, even compatible with the very first model made back in the 1960s. Hence why it slots right in the middle of the M4 platform in the game, in its belt fed LMG form, chambered for the 5.56 NATO cartridge as the in-game name implies. Given an assault rifle, a belt fed upper receiver is something pretty unique, and could even be seen as a competitor to the M249 saw with the Fight Light MCR offering better durability and reliability, all while being able to adapt to the task at hand for different military operations. Moving over to Modern Warfare 2 now, the 556 Icarus deals 34 damage for a chest shot up to 24 meters, dropping down to 26 from here up to 40 meters, which is where the minimum damage of 24 will be dealt, giving it a 3 to 5 shot kill on the upper body. Nothing too spicy, generally pretty similar to the HCR 5.6, but with a tad less range. Hits on the stomach and limbs equate to less damage being dealt, often meaning that it might take more bullets to put your target down, slightly increasing the kill time as a result. But with the Icarus shooting at the speed of 779 RPM, this puts it pretty close to the top regarding fire rate, just being beaten by the Rap H, which shoots about 20 RPM faster. This generally gives the gun some really nippy kill times within those earlier ranges up to 24 meters, beating most of the SMGs, having kill times comparable to the Lachman sub, though it won't be quite as effective over distance as a lot of the other light machine guns, many of which have slightly shorter time to kill here, while being impacted less by stomach and limb shots. Though because the Icarus fires so quickly, its slightly lower power output shouldn't really put you off, as it can easily compete with a lot of the other automatic weapons, even at range having a fairly well balanced damage model overall. So time for a little recall test. If we fire away from the distance of 10 meters, you'll notice that the Icarus generally drifts upwards upon firing, like most of the other fully automatic weapons. Though after about 12 or so shots, the recoil is going to lean the gun over to the right along the horizontal axis, continuing upwards with that vertical recoil at play too. The overall spread of the shot groupings aren't too spaced out, giving the gun a somewhat decent level of accuracy considering how fast it's firing, though because the recoil does drift over to the right when you're holding the trigger and laying down the fire, this could lead to it being trickier to control, possibly forcing your aim off target, especially against players over further ranges with shot groupings obviously becoming wider here too, and due to the recoil building up faster because of that higher rate of fire. Unlike the other LMG type weapons, because the 556 Icarus has a lot more in common to assault rifles, down to its MCR receiver, this also means that it's going to have some similarities in game. One of those similarities is its hipfire spread, being quite a bit tighter than those other light machine guns, much more in line with a lot of the ARs. This goes well with its rapid fire rate in close quarters situations, allowing you to bypass aiming down sights in a short range gunfight, giving you better stats for offensive tactics. Something else that's going to make the gun feel a bit more in line with the assault rifles is its mobility stats, as although they're generally pretty rubbish compared to the likes of the assault rifles and SMGs, compared to the other light machine guns, the Icarus has a decent set, with faster aim down sights times, generally helping it to be more manoeuvrable when playing closer to the action. Having that 75 round belt should keep you busy for a while, allowing the gun to take care of several enemies before you'll need to reload, great for clearing rooms and cutting down players one after the other over distance. As although the Icarus fires fast and a lot of its shots are sure to miss, at least you'll have plenty to keep you going through most situations. Though one of the big disadvantages of having a belt fed weapon is of course those reload times, which aren't the worst in the game, but still pretty miserable, taking 7.7 .7 seconds for both tactical reloads and empties, essentially giving it the best belt fed reloads of the base game LMGs, but still not really something to brag about. 
as you'll still have to wait around for a fair bit of time nevertheless, making you very vulnerable in between fights. So we're looking over at the gunsmith attachments for your Icarus class setup, starting with the barrels, you'll only have three to choose from, a longer 16 inch barrel for better range, the shorter FTAC SB for better mobility, and the standard one that comes with the gun, giving you a nice balance between the two. I'd normally go with this one, though obviously if you're optimising the Icarus for an aggressive or defensive loadout, then these two will help you do just that. And with the weapon suit in a pretty wide variety of playstyles due to its nice spread of stats, this allows you to tweak the gun and make it function even more like an assault rifle with a large ammo count, by going for all the stuff that's going to increase movement speed, or a traditional longer range LMG that can cut players down easier from afar. Either way, I'd still choose to get rid of a bit of that recoil regardless, even at the cost of slower ADS speed. And you can do this pretty well by adding on a different stock, such as the Demo Precision Elite Factory for example, a pretty good one that doesn't really make the gun too sluggish. Though you might want to pick something like the Ravage 8 to be a tad more aggressive with it, but this will limit its effective range, adding even more unwelcomed recoil. Because the Icarus does have a fair bit of recoil to start with, lowering this slightly with a muzzle is another way to help keep it at bay, by adding something like the VLK Flash Hider to help stabilise it, or even want to reduce horizontal and vertical kick, which is going to do a similar thing, like the RF Crown. But once again, it all depends on how much ADS speeds matter to you, though anything to reduce the recoil is going to effectively increase the gun's range, down to it being able to land more shots on target easier, especially with the Icarus being a fast firing gun. And yet, another thing I'd recommend to help with this is an underbarrel, like the FTAC Ripper or X10 Gravedigger, both good for boosting precision. Though in typical LMG fashion, you could always stick a bipod on there if you plan on defending and holding down areas. Failing that, something to complement hipfire like the Agent Grip, which could also be a good one to use for offensive tactics. Standard iron sights are manageable, though I'd probably go for a reflex or holographic sight personally with this gun, just to make it easier to line up your aim with other players over medium distances, which can be especially beneficial if you've reduced the recoil first and extended its range with other attachments. Unlike the real life weapon it's based on, the MCR, the Icarus isn't compatible with detachable max, though you do have access to a 100 round belt. Is this a good thing to equip? Well, not in my eyes as 75 rounds should suffice in most situations, and that larger belt is just going to reduce mobility even further and take even longer to reload, so I'd probably prioritise another attachment to reduce recoil or something instead, though I'll leave this one up to you. I guess when it comes to lasers, the Icarus might seem better suited than some of the other LMGs, down to it being somewhat effective within earlier distances, and with it also having some decent hit fire spread. So making this even tighter with the Peck Beam 5, or using something like the LAS44 V3, to counter some of those mobility nerfs caused by other attachments, might seem like a good choice for a lot of players. Anyway, in conclusion, the 556 Icarus is a fairly versatile LMG which in a way sort of acts like a bit of a hybrid between the assault rifles and light machine guns, offering increased manoeuvrability and better hip fire than the LMGs, along with more firepower than the assault rifles, generally giving it qualities which shine through when looking at the automatic weapons as a whole. Its fast fire rate can help to compensate for its lower than average bullet speed, which is only really going to be problematic over longer distances, as up close, the Icarus does a really good job of tearing through enemies in quick succession, having loads of ammo to burn through before you'll need to see out a long winded reload. It fares well as an aggressive weapon, so long as you're careful and quick to the trigger, perhaps a bit more so than a few of the other light machine guns that tend to perform better over range instead. The Icarus's high fire rate can lead to high recoil build up, so this, along with lower bullet damage, is another thing to go against it being an effective long ranged LMG, at least in its base form without the right attachments. But overall, the 556 Icarus is a decent option for those who want an LMG with a bit more in common with the assault rifles, being a pretty well-rounded gun for early mid-ranged use. That's it for this one folks, hope you enjoyed the guide, let me know you did by giving it a thumbs up on your way out, and if you want to see more, subscribe and check out the MW2 gun review playlist right here on my channel. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and I'll be seeing you in our next one.